Jack Devine, welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today, we're gonna to talk about the other one. All right, the other one is a big, long jam out of E minor, pretty much. All right, now you've got some E major chords in the chorus, the but when you're soloing, don't think E major, mm -mm, no good, okay? So that's the first thing that I, I saw some lessons today where they're talking about that you can play E mixolydian over the song. That is a bad idea, in my opinion. Do not do that. Okay, what you can do is play A mixolydian, sure, because A mixolydian is the same note set as E Dorian, okay? So if we don't know E Dorian, we should take a step and look at it. One could view it from the ground up and say, hey, let's modify a pentatonic minor shape. And we're gonna add that F sharp note, that's gonna be called our ninth. That's also the second, okay? So nines and seconds are the same note, just octaves apart. Okay, and the sixth, okay? Okay, so here we go. Minor third, nine, root, flat seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's out of E minor. If you wanna think about it the other way though and look at it like A mixolydian, A, that's a third, right? One, two, three, four, five, Okay, it's also the same notes that you'd find in G Lydian. Okay, it also is the same notes that you'd find in D major. Okay, so all those things are all the same set of notes and you may have ideas and vocabulary already accumulated that you could put forward towards a really interesting take on the other one. And I am convinced that this is what Garcia is doing. He is largely superimposing A mixolydian sounds, okay, over top of E Dorian grooves, okay? So the groove, if you don't know it, is. pedaling back and forth between this E. Okay, and the song has a relentless, relentless um, kind of shuffling 12-8 thing going on it. So it's triple it, 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 boom, that big, that big hit on the D chord. So keep that, keep that triplet pulse in mind while you're playing. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the key moves that you gotta learn to do if you wanna get this together. First of all, you're gonna need a, a guitar tone with a little bit more than just your typical crystal clear sparkly Jerry sound, if you ask me. I think it sounds much better with a little bit of overdrive, okay? Because, I don't know, that's just the version that I, I kind of imprinted on as a child, all right? So let's learn our triplets uh, over that mi minor pentatonic sound. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so that baba do baba do baba do bab. <laughs> See us milking that F sharp note. That's the nine, okay? But somehow, while Garcia is playing over this tune, he keeps making the whole band peek over the note A, which is the four of the E Dorian pedal sound. So if we're pedaling over an E minor sound and we're hearing that four, it's super, super disconnected sounding. So he starts at really exploring a lot of these sounds that make me convinced that he's thinking a mixolydian because he's doing a lot of he does this for quite a while all right so that very suspended sound again of the a note okay that's the fourth okay that's kind of an early garcia you know ism hear that early enough if you go all the way back you can hear that on uh what the hell is that <laughs> oh it'll come to me in a minute it's too much blotter in my youth anyway that's trust me that's an old that's like a first album kind of thing oh that's uh viola lee sorry anyway back to back to what we're talking about here so somehow he manages to start out with these minor pentatonic triplets <laughs> peaks out here up on that high A. And that high A, you know, it's really, it's really an interesting choice, okay? So ultimately, then we're gonna start building lines again, if we're gonna cop his vibe, starting here on this C sharp note. Here to over my loop. That's E, okay, but if we go. That's very much what I'm hearing happening here, okay? Okay, so that's starting here at the 14th fret B string. So that's a good one to snake if you can, okay? So then we're gonna make our way back down to like, just playing the riff, you know. Okay, and we've got the nine and the, the minor third right there. And what we can do is we can do some interesting ideas kind of coming in. Approach tones are very hip too. Here, I'll put that in context. Okay, because we can't just live here. some new colors so those chromatic tones okay those that flat five that happens nicely here we can chromatically connect the flat seven and the root a lot of flat five in there okay that flat five Forget we've got our nine, we've got our nine, our six, and our flat five here. So we can create some interesting sequences right here with this one, two, four shape, starting at the eleventh fret. Okay, so if we just do something totally calculated, something like that, two, three, and. Okay, 
Okay, so look to that kind of sound as much as you can. All right, I think that that, that flat five addition to our Dorian is worth its weight in gold, okay? Um, there's a couple of other little key licks that you might want to explore, okay? We've got this. Uh... So he's kind of working this B note here to the D. Back to the C sharp. That's the same. Okay. That's that sixth again, the minor, that, that minor chord with that tritone above it, right? That's really hip. And when you see a, the E note, the G note, and the C sharp note, and you're already playing B flat, my friend, you've just spelled out a diminished chord. Right? These notes can also be brought in, okay? So we can, if we're crafty about it, bring in some diminished lines. So let's hear, we don't want it to sound like, uh, you know, like a neoclassical metal thing, but they can definitely brought in, be brought in. some ideas that I think are kind of hip and, and you could explore. Other things that we can do is obviously look to, like I was talking about, maybe exploring playing amixolydian sounds and shapes that you're already accustomed to from maybe playing other songs within the Grateful Dead's catalog, but you'd never really thought, oh, damn, all these lines that I'm playing in amixolydian are transferable to these concepts over E Dorian, okay? So let's just look at something like, out of A, we might look at something as simple as an arpeggio. Okay, or even a run down. Just something like that. Well, let's, let's start out there. Solidian lines, okay? So again, we could look at that and think about like playing little this little A7 shape. That's a great little starting point. Listen here. to explore there. Uh, if we want to take that a step further, we could again extend A mixolydian is basically the same note set as E minor or this E Dorian sound, but we could also think about it from the perspective of playing G Lydian lines. So if we look at a G major seven arpeggio with a flat five, that's what we're, that's what we're bringing into the mix here. Okay, so that sounds awful pretty, right? Let's hear those. That sound over top of our E minor groove is going to sound significantly different. Let's check it out. Very ex 
extended sound, okay? Similarly. Okay. That's a, that's, that's a wonderful sound right there. So that's gonna be starting from the, um, from the C sharp note. We're gonna come up and do a two, one, two arpeggio. This is something I talk about with my students all the time. So it's gonna be C sharp, E. Okay, this is a minor seven flat five. Arpeggio, okay, so that's C, we're basically playing C minor seven flat five, C sharp minor seven flat five over top of E minor, okay, and it gives us this beautiful sound. In my opinion, that's a great hip sound because it doesn't sound like the guitar. It doesn't sound like guitar lines, okay? Which you're gonna have plenty of time for all those. <laughs> Nobody's saying you shouldn't be doing that stuff, all right? But that is, that's gonna get tiresome after three or four minutes of it, okay? So you wanna look around for some, some other options, okay? Similarly, we can look at um, stacking some fourths. We're looking at a, a that groove that Bob's playing, right? That the is so heavy on that nine, right? So if we just kind of think about that as being F sharp, and okay, so now we've got this fourths idea. Try playing some of those parallel things like that, stacking them up. That's sequencing. something more than just our pentatonic minor and blues lines okay that's not to say you can't use some of these things but try to find inventive ways of accessing them like even something as simple as your uh, minor blues right this kind of thing by adding a flat five and now if we take that idea that sequence of okay that kind of shape and let's just superimpose fours on it one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? That kind of sound, right? Much, much hipper than going. to take advantage of this idea that I use all the time, all right? Once we have the, the fingerboard visualized around like the sound of this, this E Dorian sound, right? What we wanna do is come to one of the color tones or scale tones that we're playing and then slide down to the next one, okay? So that's this sound. You'll hear me do it all the time. saying you'd be silly not to take advantage of this idea of just taking the note that you're playing 
and then going down one scale tone. So, right? So if we do. So that's from root to flat seven, then flat, then flat, uh, sorry, minor third to nine. So then we're right here. That's five to four. Then we could go. That's seven to six. Everything else that's in there, that last little thing there, that was a B minor triad. And then after a while, you stop thinking of it like a B minor triad. And just think about it more like you're going from the fifth flat seven and nine up to the four of the chord that you're playing over that E sound. Okay, so the B minor triad. That. We can use that. That seems like D major to me. A mixolydian. G lydian. All those notes, okay? All those vibes, all those thoughts, man. You got to learn how to like kind of steal from Peter to pay Paul, all right? So that's my big takeaway on this song is that it's such a huge opportunity for you to recycle ideas and concepts that you already have in your back pocket, all right? So make sure you bring that stuff out and get it into the mix. All right, I've got to go and teach. If you guys are liking the lessons, please. Hey, thank you very much for watching everybody. By the way, I really want you to know how, how excited it is for me, how excited I am to have people you know, contacting me and talking about my playing and what I'm sharing with you guys. So I want to thank you very much for all your subscriptions and comments and kind words over the last couple of years. I really do appreciate it. And if you like what you saw here today, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you guys are interested in private lessons, obviously reach out and contact me at jack underscore uh, divine at hotmail.com. I'm definitely interested in teaching you if you want to learn. All right. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Cheers.